All right, ever since last Tuesday's election results, Americans from dozens of states all across the country have filed petitions with the White House to secede from the nation. Now, in the Lone Star State alone, more than 80,000 residents signed a petition asking that Texas be allowed to withdraw from the U.S. to create its own government. Now, it needed only 25,000 to get a response from the White House, and due to the large outcry, Texas Governor Rick Perry was forced to respond earlier today. A statement from his office reads in part, Governor Perry believes in the greatness of our union and nothing should be done to change it, but he also shares the frustrations that many Americans have with our federal government. And joining me now with reaction is the president of the Texas Nationalist Movement, Daniel Miller. Daniel, welcome to the program. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me on, Sean. All right, so you needed 25,000 to take it to the White House. You got 80,000. How long have you been uh, trying to get uh, people to sign this petition? Well, this petition is, is relatively new, but our organization has uh, driven, had a petition drive uh, through the last two sessions of the Texas legislature uh, for this particular purpose. And, and every session, we accumulate thousands of signatures of Texans that just want to be able to have this issue come to a vote. All right. Tell us what you, why at this point, a lot of people say, oh, you lost the election. You don't like Obama's president. That's probably true. Um, what specifically? Isn't it important that we are the United States of America? Do you feel a certain sense and obligation that we've got to stay united? Well, I think that really is the cruel irony, Sean. You know, for people like you and I, yeah. who are really committed to the principles of liberty and freedom as envisioned by our founders, I think when you look at it in the context of Governor Perry's statement, when he says that he sees no reason to, uh, to change the union, uh, I think we're faced with the reality that the union has fundamentally changed. Uh, we've got a federal government that treats uh, states like Texas as a cash cow, that has no regard for the sovereignty of the states and really treats us merely like an administrative subdivision of the whims of the federal government. We have seen, indeed, the fundamental transformation of what the union is, and our organization is committed here to preserve the freedom and independence of Texas. Explain constitutionally, uh, because you cite a lot of this in your materials, what, where you see the right to do this if you get enough signatures. And what would you like to have, have happen next? Well, first off, let's, let's take it one step. The petition that's going to the White House uh, will accomplish uh, virtually nothing because it's basically asking Obama, mother may I? But what it will accomplish is this. It will send a very clear message that the people of Texas want their independence. Now, what has to happen for independence, uh, there are a lot of processes related to this. And, and I mean, some of them are, are very instructive that are going on right now. For example, like Scotland uh, having its referendum from the UK. But ultimately, any type of process where a state, any state, would choose to leave the union must come down to a vote of the people. All right, so would you, do you want a referendum in Texas to secede from the union? Right, is, right. That, is that what you would like? Is that the, in other words, yeah, uh, look, 80,000 is a big number in a very short period of time. I'll give you that. But it is hardly representative of the whole population of Texas. Now, is it your goal to get it on the ballot in Texas in referendum form or to have the legislature bring it up, the state house? Yeah, ideally what we would like to see is the legislature put it to a non-binding referendum so that the people of Texas could express their will on this issue. And the polling that we have done internally in our organization in every county here in Texas shows that we, we would carry a majority of Texas. But I think that takes us to the next step here, which is we need to begin to discuss uh, some of these factors uh, about why Texas wants to leave and make sure that we don't make those same mistakes again. Look, John, I, again, I'm under no illusions that there are a lot of people out there that do not understand why Texas wants its independence. But the fact of the matter is, is that there cannot be a union between those who esteem the principles of Karl Marx over the principles of Thomas Jefferson. Here in Texas, we esteem those principles of Thomas Jefferson, that all political power is inherent in the people. And what we have seen at, given on Tuesday was that a, a majority of the people in the United States and the states in which they reside esteem the principles of Karl Marx over those principles. I would argue that uh, I do believe the, the principles of our founders and our framers, we have left them. Um, it's sad to me, and I said this the day after Election Day, that in many ways America now has adopted this European socialist model, and I think with the same predictable results in the future, unless we stop it and stop it very, very soon. Um, you say we're at this tipping point. Is there not 
any hope in your view to work within the system as the United States of America to bring about the change you want by making the compelling arguments, getting the right candidates, and fighting now to convince people that conservative values, constitutional values, liberty is better than, you know, whatever freedom you have to sacrifice for so-called security. Sean, I, you know, and I think this is the sad part about it. This is not, this was not the ideal choice, but I think what you're talking about, that ship has sailed. You know, right. after, after four years of an Obama administration, uh, if, if the people of America did not wake up at that point and change out that administration and put us back onto the path of the Constitution, then the only thing left to people like us who esteem the principles of the founders is individual state independence. Daniel, I'm going to make a prediction to you. I believe that with the predictable results of socialism, that America will come calling for conservative answers. And that's my prediction. But I appreciate you being with us, and I'm sure you'll be under fire for the next week or two. Good luck. Hey, thank you, Sean. And, and again, you know, if anyone needs to check us out, they can at our website at texasnationalist.com.